Hello there viewers, um, I was motor test of the week <laughs> and this week I had a little order and I picked up one of these and I thought I'd give this one a try, I've still got loads of other motors I could have tried but this one's already got all connectors all soldered on, it's all ready to go so uh, I thought I'd just whack that one on the stand and give this one a try. It's an Assault 450 series 3800 kV brushless helicopter motor and yeah that's about it <laughs> let's give it a try uh, like I said it already comes with connectors soldered on uh, yes yeah, the Turnergy motor although it doesn't say in the headings it says Turnergy on the motor and let's have a look at the specs uh, the specs it says it's for 2 to 4 S 3800 kV, it says max current of 35 amps and max power of 365 watts so it's not particularly great but um, it is a heli motor and you tend to be able to push them a little bit more so we'll see how that goes uh, it's got a 3.175 mil shaft uh, but I took the back of the motor off and measured the shaft and it's a four mil shaft so it's got four mil bearings but the end has been turned down to a 3.175 size shaft so unfortunately I can't do what I originally planned with doing on this which was uh, making uh, a standoff mount for fitting it on there so it would go down to you know 20 mil uh, size hole for a 64mm EDF but uh, oh well I've got it and <laughs> let's see how it goes so I can't do that unless I use a 4mm shaft all the way through but it means I've got to modify the adapters for the, the uh, rotor because the ones I've got are for 3.175 so I'd have to modify those as well which isn't always that easy um, but anyway Let's uh, give this a try, see how far I can push it, check the temperatures and see how hot it gets and see if it'll turn any sort of size prop or not. <laughs> right, so let's have a go. Okay, here we are, all set up on the thrust stand. Uh, something I just noticed though, uh, in the pictures it said Turnergy on the back of the motor and the one I've got has got Assault. So, uh, slightly different there, but anyway, <laughs> still looks pretty much the same motor. Uh, first prop I'm going to try is a TGS 4.5 by 4.5 sports prop. Uh, it's one of my favourite little pop props. Um, normally performs pretty well. And I'm going to try it on my new Multistar 2200 milliamp 40C 3 cell. And I'm using a Turnergy AE 65 amp ESC. So let's give this a try on 3 cell. See what results we get. Oh, take a focus. Ooh. Bit of a noisy motor there. Whoa! Fifty-six hundred forty-eight watts. Oops. That's twice the uh, <laughs> recommended power on that. We should have started off with a uh, smaller prop. Difficult to get in there on the windings. Uh, 26 degrees. So yeah, I might go up in prop size. <laughs> let's uh, let's give it another blast. See how hot it gets. Blast. 
last one. <laughs> Down here too. 58 watts. Hmm. Casing doesn't feel wet warm. Hmm. There's a small hole there I can get in. Uh, let's see what we get. Thirty two degrees there. Uh, get in the back of the motor there. Yeah, can't we get there? I'll say thirty degrees. Say 30 degrees. I'd say that can probably take take way more. <laughs> that's, that's putting a lot more power for it than it's the specs say. <laughs> oh, blimey. That's uh, interesting. <laughs> Alright. Um, one more prop I can try here, see what the difference is on that. Okay, this is a Turner G 4.7 by 4 high speed prop. Uh, if you get them from Banggood, they're under Gem Fan props, high speed props, and still on the 3 cell. I didn't bother ch topping it up with charge though. Uh, sorry, I just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> to be honest, just testing this one other prop. Uh, I will stick a four cell on there and see what happens. But, uh, let's see what we get with this prop. Ooh, a bit more thrust there. About the same amp draw. Pretty cool. But it still doesn't feel warm. I mean, it is on an aluminium mount, uh, but the air is pushing away from it, so there's no cooling air on there apart from the uh, cooling fan of the heli motor itself, which must work pretty well because it's staying pretty damn cool. There's a little tiny hole there I can just about get on the windings and it's saying it's 30 degrees. Yeah, 30 degrees. That's one tough little motor that could take a lot more power than I spec say. Right, uh, I don't think I'll be going up in prop size on that. Uh, on three cell, but let's down prop and stick a four cell on there. Okay, start the four cell test off. I've got a gem fan, uh, four by 4.5. Uh, was it carbon reinforced forced nylon prop? Yeah, carbon reinforced. So these aren't the uh, plastic bendy ones, these are pretty damn strong. These I've put a lot of power through these ones. Super great little prop, and uh, <laughs> and I'm using a Hyperion 2200 mAh 35C 4-cell. So let's see what we get on the 4-cell. <laughs> oh my god, that was loud. Finally, 45 amps, 670 watts. 
They're good little props, those. <laughs> at all. Alright, let's try another prop. Okay, this one uh, should be quite funny. I've had these props for a little while and was meaning to test them. It's uh, another gem fan or Turnergy high speed prop, but they are a 4x3. Um, a little bit worried about them though, because uh, that's one of them, and you can see that the uh, they're a bit bendy. <laughs> As you can see there, they bend quite a bit. So um, I've got the uh, fiberglass blast shield on just to protect the battery and the watt meter in case the prop explodes. And um, although it's a four by three, if whoops, uh, you see. I mean, this is the gem fan. Uh, uh, was it a carbon stroke nylon prop? And that's a 4 by 4.5. But if I just put that there. Right, so the, the black one is a 4 by 4.5. And the grey one is a 4 by 3. Now, which one would you say has got more pitch? <laughs> It's uh, quite a difference there, isn't it? So, um will have to see how that works out. I mean, I don't know how they calculate the, the pitch on the propellers. I mean, it's, it's a bit weird, isn't it, that that's 4 by 4.5 and that's 4 by 3. And yet what looks like it's got more pitch is weird. So, um, but these... Gym fan ones are the stiff ones and they're really stiff and strong and I do like those um, so let's give this high speed proper test well, you can see a bit bendy so uh, let's give this one a try see what we can get out of this one the best performer of the three, you know, on the full cell. Last shield out of the way. It's a bit of rubbish, oh, blimey, only 50. So it's, uh, draws a bit more current than the 4 by 4.5, but a lot less current than the TGS 4.1 by 4.1. But I think that gave out more thrust than both of them. I'll have to have a look at the footage again. Wow, that was... They're pretty good. I like those. <laughs> Loud, though. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, I'm glad I remembered about those props. <laughs> I've done the other test before, but um, went back and test this one. But I'll post it before the other one, so you can see different orders. Right. Okay, this is a TGS 4.1 by 4.1 sports prop. Still on the four cell, so let's see what this does. Oh, 
But I can't, can't seem to get in anywhere decent on this motor to get a good temperature on the windings. I'm slightly saying 30 degrees. <laughs> Let's try. That little gap there. Nope. No, it's still only 30 degrees. I can't really get in there to feel the temperature, but I mean, there's no heat transfer there. The wires were a little bit warm, but I don't know, that's probably pushing it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to go much more. Uh, I think the uh, gym fan prop is a lot more, a lot better, but not sure how, what the speed would be like difference. Because, uh, it says it's a 4.5. I mean, look at the pitch difference to the TGS 4.1. That's the Jim fan 4.5 or 4x4.5 and you can see the pitch difference there there's quite a bit so uh, whether or not the amount of R more RPM you get with that one the Jim fan would overtake the uh, pitch you get on that one but don't know <laughs> right uh, just a short video this week I think uh, I don't think I'll be trying any other props on that but that seems like a tough motor that one I'll, I'd like to try that see what I can do with that one right so that was this uh, motor test of the week give us a thumbs up if you like this video <laughs> nice little motor that the uh, salt 3800 kV for a 450 heli to end the prop so uh, yeah if you want to see me put that in a plane subscribe hit that little subscribe button and uh, hopefully at some point I'll get around to doing it I'm hoping to build a little plane uh, to do some uh, flight testing on some at the fields and field testing and uh, compare all these motors see what gives good results all right so, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you again next week on Motor Test of the Week. And bye-bye.